Hey guys, what's up? It's Brenda from Ashley and Brenda. As you can see, I'm in a different location, but that's because I'm back at college. I'm going to start off by putting on my handy dandy headband that just holds my hair back. As you can see, it's a different one than I used in the first video. Alright, let's just get started with the video. First of all, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony and just going to outline my brows creating a line underneath my brow and also creating an arch. Next we're going to fill in our eyebrows using the Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil in Black Brown. Moving on to our eyes, we're going to be using the MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot. Just going to put that all over to neutralize our eyelids. To set that, we are going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. For this look, we are going to be using the Morphe 35P palette. Picking up the orange shade in the palette, we are going to use that as a transition shade. Picking up a darker mauve color, we are going to be placing that in the outer two-thirds of our eye, as well as into our crease. Using a blending brush in the original orange shade, we are going to be blending those two colors together. We're going to be adding a cranberry color into our outer V. It's okay if it's messy, we're just going to blend that out. Making sure it's all blended with that blending brush and that orange shade. To make this look a little bit more smoky, we're just going to add a plum color just on the outer part of the eye. Moving away from the eyes, we're going to be priming our face using the Maybelline Baby Skin. We are also going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer all over our face. Now using our Best Damn Lip Mask for our liquid lip later on. For our foundation, we are going to be mixing the Fit Me Foundations in shade 310 and 332. Just going to be dotting that all over our face. Picking up a face brush by BH Cosmetics, we are just going to be blending that foundation all over our face, making sure to get down our neck. To conceal under our eyes, we are going to be using the NYX Concealer in CJ04, placing that in a V-shape under our eyes, on the bridge of our nose, on our chin, and also on our forehead. Above that, we are going to be using another NYX Concealer in the shade CW03, just as an extra highlight, placing that in the same place as we placed the original concealer, and just going to continue to blend that out. To make sure our concealer does not crease, we are going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent, baking our face away. To contour, we are going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess and the Elf Contour Powder in Turks and Caicos, putting that on the hollows of our cheek, under our chin, and on our temples, as well as bringing that onto our nose. Going back into our eyes, we're going to be picking up a light shimmery pink shade and putting that in the inner half of our eyelid and blending that out with a darker purple shimmer. And just going to be dusting away that bake that we did earlier. For this look, we're going to be doing a dramatic cat eye using the Maybelline Line Stiletto in Blackest Black. Starting in the outer corner and bringing that towards the tail end of our eyebrow. And then we are just going to be doing one smooth line. Last time into the eyes, we're going to be using that plum color and just smudging that on the bottom lash line. Applying the Ardell Glamour Lashes in 113. Since we want our lashes to look as real as possible, we are going to be using our eyeliner and just going over that band. We are going to be applying the Thayer Real Mascara by Benefit on our upper lashes just to blending our real lashes with our fake lashes. Also using that same mascara, we are going to be applying that to our lower lash line.
Moving on to our lips and the inspiration to this look, we are going to be using the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Confident. To add some dimension, we're going to be using the Maybelline Lipstick in Raging Raisin and just applying that to the center of the lips. To finish off, we're going to spray our face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that's the look! Hope you all like it. Please like, subscribe, and keep watching for more. Love you, bye!